Like salami, you might like the classic cold cut that rhymes with it. Pastrami. At the world-famous Carnegie Deli in New York City, these mouth-watering masterworks have been luring patrons since 1937. The signature sign that's been with us for 70 years. This is a landmark, a trademark. It says the world's best. We have the world's best pastrami right here in New York. Every week, Carnegie customers devour more than 10,000 pounds of the stuff. To make this product is very, very hard and very time consuming. It takes us 14 days from the time until we get the meat, till we process the meat, and till we serve it. And that starts at the Carnegie Processing Plant in New Jersey, where every day so-called steer navels arrive to be turned into pastrami. This is where the Carnegie Deli pastrami sandwich starts, right in this room, right over here. As you can see, these navels are very heavily marbled. Um, the marbling means that they're either prime or choice. If we had a lean pastrami, we wouldn't have any flavor. Fat is where the flavor is, we all know that. This navel comes from the section from the fourth rib down all the way down past its uh, belly button. Um, the navel, as you can see, almost looks like a piece of bacon. That's because we call it steer bacon. The navels start their journey in the injection room, where 54 needles deliver a dose of brine. This is called a stitch pump machine, and that's really basically what it's doing. It's stitch pumping through the needles the brine that we make. The brine contains water, salt, and all the special spices that make our Carnegie Deli pastrami what it is. The brine preserves the meat and the red color. You get a nice rosy red color, the same as they treat bacon. If you look closely at the navels, you'll see all the needle marks that have gone through the meat. The brine-filled navels are then sent to recover in a steel tub. For the next two or three days, they absorb the brine and spices until it's time for a special Carnegie Deli spice massage. All right, this is where the magic happens, right here. Uh, we, we've already drained the navels that you saw in the holding tanks in the other room and now we rub them with all our secret spices that we use. That includes uh, coriander, peppercorn, paprika and caramel color. And then there's a few in there I'm just going to keep to myself. With their spice coat on, the navels are hung and sent to the smokers where they're cooked with the aroma of hickory wood. Other manufacturers boil their navels. Four hours later, the navels have graduated to pastrami. Take a little cut off of here. Got all the fat, we got all the marbling. This really looks like a nice prime piece of meat. Ah, the smell. We're gonna let it go to Carnegie Deli. Cooled and crated, the pastrami is off to the deli, where it gets one last pampering in a nice long steam bath. Once the meat comes in, we bring it and we put it into the steam table. Here in the steam table, we cook it for two to two and a half hours to bring all the flavor and the moisture out, and it breaks down the fiber, and we get a product nice and soft and tender, ready to go upstairs, make sandwiches, and to eat it. Upstairs, people from around the world are digging in on the time-honored recipe brought over by European Jews in the mid-1800s. Finishing a sandwich, however, is another thing. Every sandwich that comes out is at least a pound of meat. We don't want our customers to finish. If they finish, we made a mistake. And if they can open their mouth and put their mouth around it, it's a mistake. As the tenderized masterpiece makes its final approach, it's held up with care and tradition, all the way to another delighted customer. Look at that smile, all the way from Minnesota. I put a smile on that man's face. Speaking of faces, how about a cold cut made out of a pig's face? or head, to be exact. In 2003, a sausage factory in northern Denmark created the world's longest salami. If laid end to end, it would stretch nearly 500 feet, surpassing the height of the Statue of Liberty by almost 200 feet. Cold cuts will return.